market has become more expensive and the city has two proposals aimed at developing homes costing less than $289,000 apiece. Ellie Milliken went to Milledgeville to learn more. In Milledgeville, the city manager says the average rent is $1,600 a month, while the average home price is $290,000. That's why mm -hmm. Lawson Lawrence and Randy Rich proposed plans to the city for what they call workforce housing. Hank Griffith, the city manager, says this housing is needed. A absolutely. We, we need workforce housing in Milledgeville. Okay. Uh, there's, there is hardly a town, and I know this from my, talking with my colleagues around the state, there's hardly a town or a county in Georgia that doesn't need workforce housing. Workforce housing is homes for working people who can't afford market rates. One reason Milledgeville prices are high, city manager Hank Griffith says, is that it's a college town. The college students are a, uh, for lack of a better term, they are a captured market for property owners to lease property to. Leasing property brings prices up. Now two realtors are trying to help with the equity fund. This fund, if approved, will help the city and one of the realtors partner together to develop what they call workforce housing. So mayor and council knows that there are two contractors or two developers that are interested in participating with the city on this. They know who those developers are now. They've heard each of their proposals. Realtor Andrew Heron has watched prices go up. He's been a realtor since 2002. I get a lot of first time buyers in that range and that's about as, you know, 300 or less is really tough to find in this town. 300 or less is hard for many to afford, but everyone agrees workforce housing is needed. In Milledgeville, Ellie Milliken, 13 WNAZ News.